Now we'll talk about graphing acceleration. And we'll do this by thinking about our earlier example. In, in the first example we looked at, a car accelerated from 6 meters per second to 22 meters per second in 4 seconds. And we were told to find the car's acceleration. What we're going to do now is make a graph of this motion. We're just going to plot the numbers. And these are, these are pretty easy. It started at 6 meters per second. So right at the beginning, at time 0, it had a speed of 6 meters per second. So put a little point on your graph right there, 6 meters per second. Now, its speed increased to 22 meters per second in 4 seconds. So after 4 seconds, it was moving at 22 meters per second. So put a point on your graph right there. And then to get some points in between, let's remember the calculation we did. We said the acceleration was the change in velocity divided by the time, and the change in velocity was the final velocity minus the initial. In this case, it was 22 meters per second minus 6 meters per second over the time of 4 seconds. And if you remember, that came out to be 16 meters per second over 4 seconds. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. So that was 4 meters per second squared. Or as we thought of it, 4 meters per second per second. That number right there, 4 meters per second per second, is going to come in handy in making this graph. Because we know the speed increases by 4 meters per second each second. So at the beginning, it was moving at 6 meters per second. After one second, its speed has increased by 4 meters per second. So it's gone from 6 to 10. So you can plot that point on your graph. After one more second, its speed is increased by 4 more meters per second, because its speed increases by 4 meters per second each second. So you can plot the point 2 and 14. At 2 seconds, it's moving at a speed of 14 meters per second. And then after one more second, at 3 seconds, its speed would have increased to 18. And you can plot that point. And you can connect these points with a, a nice straight line. And you can stop at 4 seconds, because we aren't told anything about what it does after 4 seconds. But this graph shows the velocity of the car at any given moment. Now take note that this is a velocity graph. This is a graph of the velocity versus time. In other words, it shows us how fast it is moving at any given moment. This is different from the graphs we looked at earlier. Earlier we were looking at graphs of the position versus the time. Graphs that showed us where it was, what its position was at any given moment. This is a graph that shows us how fast it's moving at any given moment. But this graph is still a line on a set of axes. And so just as we calculated the slope before, we can calculate the slope of this graph. And watch what happens when we, when we calculate the slope. If you think from left to right, if we start here at this point, and we end up here at this point, then we have gone, we on our graph, we go over a certain amount, and we go up a certain amount. And we call those the rise and the run. I'll go ahead and draw those in, how far over we go and how far up we go. And you can see that the, the run here, it goes from 0 to 4. And specifically, that's 4 seconds. And the rise here, it goes from, from 6 up to 22. So that's 16. And that's meters per second, 16 meters per second. So if we want to calculate the slope of the graph, the slope is always rise over run. And the rise in this case was 16 meters per second, and the run was 4 seconds. And that comes out to 4 meters per second squared. Now notice that this calculation looks a whole lot like the calculation we just did a minute ago. In fact, it doesn't just look like the calculation, it's exactly the same calculation. 16 meters per second divided by 4 seconds in both cases. The slope calculation, and I'm going to write this down, this is an important point. The slope calculation is the same as the acceleration calculation.
But the calculation we did to compute the slope is the same calculation as the calculation we did to compute the acceleration. And that's not just true in this particular case. That's always true. And that's always if we have a velocity graph, like we have here, a graph of velocity versus time, and we calculate the slope of a line on that graph, that slope will always give us an acceleration. And that point is important, important enough to, write, to, to warrant writing it down. So you can put this in your notes as well. The slope of a velocity graph. The slope of a velocity graph is the acceleration. The slope of a velocity graph is the acceleration.